Okay, I want to do a quick review of what we talked about in class yesterday in pre-calc. So go ahead and take a look at the notes. So the first thing we talked about is we did a little bit of a review of the um, how to write logs to exponential. So again, the, the kind of the thought process behind it was this. When we have um, a log, the way we turn a log into an exponential is this number down here at the bottom becomes our base. So our base is two. We raise it to that power here of four, we raise it to the fourth power, and then that's gonna equal, coming back over 16. So the way you rewrite log two of 16 equals four is that two to the fourth equals 16, which is, it does. So again, you take the number at the bottom, 49, you raise it to the power over here, one half, and it's going to equal seven. So A, raised to the y power is going to equal x, a raised to the y power equals x. And if I want to go backwards, again, the way you're going to do it is this base is always going to be the base of your log. So you're going to say log three of this number here, nine equals two. So you take the number here, the log of this is going to equal this two. So we're going to take log four, of one fourth, and that's going to equal negative one. So we take this number is the base of the log. This is what we're taking the log up, and this is what it equals. So again, log base a of x equals y. So that's what we kind of started with as a review of the previous class. And then what we're going to do is we're going to solve. So the way you solve is again, I'll do three of them. We did them in class. What we do is we take our base down here, five. So five squared equals X. So that tells me that X equals 25, because that's what five squared is. Here, two to the Y equals eight. So that tells me what number would I raise? This is that thing we did the quiz on. If we get the same bases, two Y equals two to the third, so Y equals three. And then the last version of it you would see is here is log base A of the second power equals 16. So A to the second power equals 16. The way we solve that, we can do it several ways, but take the square root of both sides, and then A equals four. So that's what we did. And I wanna show you a couple of them that could kind of be a little tricky. So I'll show you number 17. Nine to the one half equals X. Now, you need to remember this fraction, this fractional exponent means the same thing as taking a radical. So this is X equals the square root of nine. So in this case, X equals three. Next one, one half to the third power equals X. So one half raised to the third power equals X. And what you need to do is you need to be able to figure out what is one half to the third power. One half times one half times one half, one half times one half times one half equals one eighth. So that's what X equals, X equals one eighth. And last, one half to the Y, one half to the Y equals 16. Now the issue here is you got one half to the Y. The problem that you're gonna run into is there's no way I can keep squaring one half and get a bigger number. So what I need to do is I need to take the reciprocal of this. I need to turn it into like an integer, not a fraction. So it's gonna be a negative thing. Because if you think about it, this right here, one half to the Y equals two to the fourth. Well, this two is one half. I could look at it as two to the negative one Y equals two to the fourth. So then negative one Y equals four, divide both sides by negative one, and Y is gonna equal negative four. So that's a little bit of a review of last time. Um, what we did today is the new thing is we learn these properties of logs. And what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at these properties of logs. I want you to realize they're very similar to our exponentials. If you think about it, when I did X to the fifth times X to the fourth, that was X to the five plus four. So that was X to the nine, the ninth. So what I did is I add, when it was a multiplication, I added, well, when I multiply two things together, I add the exponents. So the log base three of nine X, is log base three of nine, the first piece, plus log base three of X, the second piece. 
The quotient one is very similar to our quotient one we did before. If I add x to the fifth divided by x to the second, it's x to the five minus two, it's x to the third. Well, again, when I divide, I subtract. So log one quarter of four over five of four fifths equals log base one fourth of four, the top minus, like that, minus log one fourth of five. So I break it into two pieces. This is called expansion. This is what it's called. It's called expansion. Expansion. So that's our quotient property. And then our power property, again, something we've seen before, x to the fifth squared was x to the five times two. So when we're like doing a power of a power, what we're allowed to do is we're allowed to do a multiplication. So again, log base b m to the p, I can basically take that exponent and I can bring it up front. So log two of eight to the x says I can bring the x up front, log two eight. So those are the properties. And then what we needed to do is we needed to expand and we needed to, um, what are it's called condense. So I'm gonna show you an expansion and a condension. A condension and an expansion. So this one right here is our expansion. So log five of eight times B. It's this rule here where we have MN. So what that tells me is I can break it into an addition. And that addition would be log base five of A, the first part, log base five of B. If I did this one again, this is a multiplication. So it's log base nine of X plus log base nine of Y. And again, it's because it's a multiplication, I can turn it into an addition. So this one, log two of U divided by V. In this case, we're using this rule. This rule right here for addition. It turns into subtraction. So this becomes log base two of U minus log base two of V. And then ln, just as a reminder, ln is the same thing as log base E. So the rules still apply. So in this case, this would be ln of A minus ln of B. Okay. Now this one, a little tricky because look, we got the little power thing here on these two. Um, so we're going to combine two into one. So what's going to happen is there's two ways to do this. The first way to do this is I could rewrite this as log a squared times b squared. What I basically did is I brought the two inside and I shared it with both pieces. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and say this is log of log base log base six of a squared plus log base six of b squared. And then using that power rule, I can take that exponent and I can bring it up to the front. So that becomes two times log six of a plus two. Uh, times log six of B. That's one way to do it. The other way is you could have done the power up front. What I could have done is I could have said here when I'm doing log of base six of A times B squared, I could all of a sudden bring the two up front. So I'm bringing the two up to the front and I'm multiplying it times this whole thing, log six A times B. So now what'll happen is I can use the um, addition rule here. This becomes two log base six of A plus log base six of B. And then distributive property takes me to the exact same answer. Two log six of A plus two log six of B. And that would be the same answer. And then the same idea follows for this. This is gonna be a division and you can do it one of two ways. So I'll do it the second way first. I'm going to bring the six up front and this becomes six times log of X over Y. This becomes six times log base seven of X minus log base seven of Y. I distribute the six in six log base seven X minus six log base seven Y. Or I could have distributed it in either way would work. Um, so that's um, expansion. Uh, condensing, condensing is actually the opposite is putting it back together. This is an adding. So an adding means it's gonna look like this at the end. So this basically becomes log base nine of X times Y because it's an addition. Since this is a subtraction, this becomes log base two 
of u divided by b because it's a subtraction. This is a power one, bring the six over. This becomes log base six of x to the sixth power. This one's a little trickier because again, it looks weird. It's not kind of a, it's not gonna be a, um, a subtraction thing. This is a division and really what it is, is it's this. This is one third log two of x. So it's very much like this. So what I'm actually doing is I'm bringing the one third and I'm making it the exponent. So this becomes log base two of x to the third. And as I go through the last couple are gonna follow kind of the same process. This is an addition, but remember, first thing I'm gonna do is fix this. This is log base three of A plus log base three of B to the fifth. Since it's an addition, we make it a multiplication. This becomes log base three of A times B to the fifth. Again, we're gonna fix our powers first. So this is gonna become log base five of U squared minus log base five of V. Since it's a subtraction, this becomes log base five of U squared over B. Um, so that's what we did. And what we're actually gonna do in the next class is we're gonna actually take those and we're gonna solve problems. We're gonna actually have problems that will be using expansions or more likely condensing to put the things back together so that we can solve the problem very much like we've done all the time. So hopefully that helps. Please ask questions in class, use the reflection.